in this video, we will install KubeDB on a Kubernetes cluster and create a MySQL cluster using KubeDB on Kubernetes. For the license of KubeDB, you can visit licenseissuer.fscode.com and for the documentation, you can visit kubedb.com slash docs. So let's install KubeDB on a Kubernetes system. Here is a Kubernetes cluster. To install this, I am gonna run this simple Helm command. And this is the path of my license to it. So let's install it. Yeah. Now we can see that my kubedb enterprise operator and community operator is running. So this is that simple to install kubedb on a Kubernetes cluster. Now we will be provisioning a MySQL cluster using kubedb. For that, we need to know about the MySQL CRD provided by kubedb. In, the, in this, we are creating a MySQL object. In the metadata section, we are naming it MySQL so that name of the instance will be MySQL. It will be in the demo name space. In the expect section, we are Telling the version is 5.7.36. KubeDB internally manage a version CRD in that we can see that uh, we are using the MySQL official image of 5.7.36. And then in the replica section, uh, we are telling it's three. So we want three replica of that. In the topology section, we are telling we'll be using the MySQL group replication for the for the cluster and in the storage type we are telling we want a, a durable storage of storage class standard and we are requesting one gb of data one gb of storage and in the termination policy we are telling it whip out that means uh, all the resource created associated to mysql will be deleted if the if this custom resource is being deleted so let's create let's create a mysql cluster for that we just need to apply a simple yaml so this was the yaml i was applying so now i can see that my my all the instances in the running state and i can see here is a mysql object that is in the provisioning state so let's wait for a minute to provision the database Uh, I can see that my database is now in the ready set. Now I can access it. So I have successfully logged in my database. So I can list out the data, default database. So I can see that for default database here. And let's create another one. Uh, let's create a database table here. And insert some data into it. So now I can see that I have inserted put, put data in the database. And let's Let's log into another instance and see that the data is being replicated.
So I can see that in the in the MySQL one instance, the data also has been replicated. So it was this was it was that simple to provision a MySQL cluster using KubeDB on Kubernetes. 